Ready for round two of Dollar Tree Witchy Haul? That's coming up right after this. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mel for those of you who are new here and due to popular request today we are going to do a Dollar Tree witchy haul. Now I had to rack my brain because a lot of you really liked the last one and I'm gonna be honest I usually buy the same stuff <laughs> at the Dollar Tree. So I had to sit and be like, oh my gosh, how can I think outside of the box? How can I share something unique with these guys? Because they're really wanting a new one. So I did. And there was some stuff that I do usually buy that I realized that I hadn't shared in the last video. So I have a ton of stuff in front of me that's off camera that you can't see that I am gonna sh hold up as I go. Some stuff, most of it's new. I'm trying, it, I'm trying to do seasonal and stuff that I didn't show in the last one. So this is new stuff. And hopefully this will inspire you people who are either in the closet or on a budget or are looking for some unique ways to be witchy. And yeah, that's, that's it. So here we go. All right, so the very first thing, and I kind of have it in like sections of ways to do it. So I'm trying to be organized this time. So the very first thing I have, and I'm so <laughs> irritated because I have been looking at the Dollar Tree for this stuff forever. I'm very excited I found it, but annoyed that I found it a little late because I bought a, a $10 bucket from Walmart of this stuff not long ago. And I got the idea and I'm going to credit her um, from Olivia from The Witch of Wonderlust. This is, and I know everything's backwards, but you guys are just going to have to cope with me because today I need to be able to see what I'm doing, is air dry clay. So these packages aren't very big. They're about, they're 8.8 .8 ounces. So I bought three packages. There was a ton of them. Some Dollar Trees have them, some Dollar Trees don't. It, my Dollar Tree, there's a few, oh, sorry guys, there's an alarm going off on my phone. There's a few, um, I've, I've never found them. And by the way, in my last video, I had bought modeling clay because I wanted to buy, I wanted to make, I got the idea from Olivia, um, chime candle holders. And I wanted, instead of buying them, because they're so freaking expensive and it's ridiculous, so I bought modeling clay regular modeling clay from the Dollar Tree to see if it would dry out on its own. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> I found out the hard way. So now I have all this modeling clay that I'm probably never going to use. I'll give it to Kimmy, my cousin Kimmy. I'm going to link that video in um, right here. I'll tag it. She has a little girl. So she's going to get to take home all that fabulous modeling clay for her daughter. But I bought three packages. So that's the very first thing. You can make chime candles. Kimmy and I actually, when she came over, we made um, different things. I made a pentagram for my altar. I made a few different chime candles, and I'm going to next make an offering bowl. And it's just, it's just fun. It's therapeutic. So I did that. Then I got, there, there was all different sizes of canvases, but I bought three of them because I have an idea of something I've been wanting to do forever. It's not really witchy, but I wanted to share it with you guys. It's a quote that I love. Um, it's actually from Sex and the City. And it's called, it's Ever Mine, Ever Thine. It's, it's from an old poem, and I can't remember off the top of my head, but I heard it in Sex and the City. Ever Mine, Ever Thine, Ever Ours, I think is how it goes. And for years, I've wanted to do one little canvas of each. And um, I'm not going to share how I'm going to do it because it's personal, but I wanted to do it because I wanted to use it to kind of like manifest something. So I'm going to do that. I thought those would be perfect. They also had, oh, and it's half open anyway, bamboo wind chimes, which I haven't even opened yet, but I'm going to open it right now with you guys so we can test them out. We'll see if they're good because it's seasonal. 
I don't quite know. I obviously need to fix them, but they're gonna go outside on my deck. I don't have any wind chime, so that'll be fun to cleanse air for an air cleansing thing. Okay, so we have the stencil here. So that'll be part of my crafting for that that little canvas project, and it's also it'll come, it can come handy for other things. Next up is bath magic. The kitty is sitting right underneath me as if she thinks this is for her, but it's not. But I am huge on bath magic. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that before. Um, I often will take baths, first of all, to cleanse my aura, to cleanse, oh, I've got this crazy hair over here, to cleanse my aura, to cleanse my spirit, um, to remove energies that I absorb from other people, Just not just clients, but people that I know, I absorb so much. Not just regular people, but being out in, not just like people in my personal life, but being out in the world, going to the store, or even just people that I haven't talked to in a while, people that I talk to over the phone. So I like to use it for intention. I like to use it before I do any kind of workings. If I have time, I like to use it for manifestation. I like to use it for meditation, all kinds of things for grounding. And I like to make my own, but I also enjoy shortcuts. So I had bought these two before and didn't show them because I had already been halfway through the bot the packages. So we have, and I will, um, these are, these are rose petals, bath salts. They do actually have real rose petals in them and lavender bath salts. They do actually have lavender in them. I've used both of these before and I love them. They have real essential oils, real dried flowers. And then this one I hadn't seen before, and you can actually see in the picture, it really does have chamomile in there. This one is for chamomile, and it does actually have chamomile in it. So I have used these before, and I absolutely love them. I haven't used the chamomile one. The lavender puts me to sleep. And then I've never bought the plain Epsom salt from them. I've shown the lavender and the eucalyptus, and I didn't like the way they smelled. So I bought a plain bag of regular Epsom salt from them because I'm I can always use more. Okay, so my next one is, and I have a lot, so this is gonna be a long video, guys. Just to warn you, even if I keep rolling, it's still gonna be long. I bought four of these little ceramic plates. They're very durable. I do a lot of candle magic and I've mentioned that before and I do a lot of candle magic. I think I had this before, the, the Mother Guada, Virgin Guadalupe, I, I grabbed another candle of that. But a lot of candle magic that I do, chime candles, votive candles, and often it calls for you putting the birthday candles, and I'm going to show that in a minute, um, you, you put them right on the plate and they burn down. And I used a lot of my ceramic plates that I had, and when it burns down, it cracks them, or it can crack them. So I've gone through way too many ceramic plates. So I actually bought myself a new set of four, and these are pretty solid. So I bought new a new set of four ceramic plates, and that leads me right into the next set that I have right next to me. And I bought, also, they had a nice green one, so I bought this for money workings, any kind of prosperity work. They had a bunch of green ones. They had green bowls, green cups, and I was thinking of getting a whole set, but I didn't just yet, and I might go back because it's springtime and it's seasonal, so you may want to because I do a money bowl working, and anytime you do money workings and offerings, this is a good color to use. So you may want to snag yourself some, at least maybe one. I'm considering going back. So my next step, I bought this for like an offering altar or tray for on my altar. I thought this was really, really pretty. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but I, it caught my eye. Or even if I don't use it for offerings on my altar, I still thought it would be good for burning candles on. So because it is, it is some kind of silver 
but it could be hard. It might not be great. It might like melt, so I'm not sure. And always be safe with fire safety. And then I have a bunch of candles as we get into the next part. So, candles. Okay, so I bought, this is, they each have eight in them. I bought red tea, tree, tea lights. I bought green tea lights. The green ones are light green. They smell like coconut lime. The red ones smell like harvest. I don't really, the smells are actually really good and I'm super picky about smells as I mentioned in my previous Dollar Tree video. They're both by the brand of Luminescence. These both smell really good. I bought them for workings. They will, I will save them until I need them for workings. Green is great for prosperity and money. Red is great for love. And then I bought a tall, two tall taper candles, a dollar for two. And then I bought 60 birthday candles. It's a pack of 60. They come blue, pink, green, and yellow. I use a lot of pink, I use a lot of green, I use a lot of yellow. I'm not sure if I use a lot of blue. So all of those are really great. Um, yeah. And I can use my air dry clay to make to make holders, candle holders for my birthday candles. So that's awesome, specific sizes. I bought pump sp spray bottles. They do leak, but I like to make a couple of different things with this. I like to use spray with my moon water that I make and it's like to cleanse the energy. I like to use essential oils and water that down and spray things. I like to use lavender, no, not lavender, lemon, lemon grass essential oil and use it to kind of clean um, the energy in certain things. That was a tip from a good friend of mine. So there's a lot of different things that I like to use for this to cleanse the space instead of smoke instead of smudging. Don't spray though your cards, your oracle cards or your tarot cards. I learned the hard way, they will get sticky. Unless if you mist the air and you just like run them through in the mist, kind of like how you do to your body in perfume. But don't like directly spray on or around them because whatever sticks to your cards, they'll stick and then you'll have a hard time shuffling. So don't do that found out the hard way. Okay, I bought this bowl. This was in the candle aisle. It's not really a bowl. I mean, it would be cute for a little terrar terrarium. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's how you say it. I think that's how you say it. But I was thinking more for, they had these awesome candles. Look at these candles. I think, I hope they burn silver all the way through. Yes, I think they do. Look at, it looks silver all the way through. I just peeled the sticker off. So they had gold ones, they had silver ones. They uh, there's so many. Like I said, candle magic. I'm crazy, crazy can. I only bought one of each, um, but they fit. Look at, and I checked in the store, so they fit really nice. Because I hate it when the candle, when the wax starts to burn down, and then it drips off the plate, and it starts to drip and it makes a mess everywhere and now you have a mess and you got to watch it really closely because I ADHD I'm not actually ADHD but actually I could be and I'm just not diagnosed I'm not sure but my attention span is similar to somebody with ADHD I am easily distracted I have a million things in my head and I will forget I will light the candle leave it to burn down leave it on my altar or wherever in my house that I started doing the working and then I'll forget don't copy me it's bad fire safety but I I will always make sure that there's nothing around it and my cat can't get to it and I don't leave it burning like I don't leave the house and I can't I go back and check on it but the wax will drip down and then it gets, it makes a mess. And then I go back and I'm like, ah, that's why I love these candles. That you almost never, ever make a mess. Also, you can put lots of herbs in there, so that's pretty great too. Okay, next step. For candles like this, or votive candles, which I don't have any here, I got bottles of glitter, loose glitter. 
They had every color you could think of. So you're going to have to look up your color correspondences because I'm not going to go over all of them. But each color does something. So I got several for now, but they had all the colors. I went a little crazy because I've never seen these before. So you can roll your candle in oil, anoint it in oil, whatever your anointing oil is that you choose, your luck oil, your fast luck oil, your prosperity oil, your uh, attracting oil, whatever the oil is that you're choosing, plain olive oil, doesn't have to be fancy. And then you can roll it in glitter and boom, light it. Again, fire safety. This stuff probably is flammable. I don't know. Doesn't say. Probably is flammable, so keep an eye on it. Okay, my next one is... They have these really cool boxes. They're, they're supposed to be for gift boxes. But I, I've been wanting to get a few more... They're just plain on the, they're, they're kind of cute on the inside too. But I liked this one because it kind of reminded me of sacred geometry and mandalas. And they have these little baby, I have a few of them, and I've shown them before on camera. These baby tarot decks that I use constantly that would fit. Oh my God, I haven't even tried it yet. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but it fits perfectly in here. And then I can just keep a crystal, like a selenite in there, because selenite clears it really good. And just, boom, instead of them just sitting everywhere, and I can store my decks. Or I could use a bigger deck. I do a lot of readings at my kitchen counter, which I need to get better at. But, you know, or I can, this is a, a, a medium-sized deck. This is the Light Keeper's Tarot. You could stack a couple, like turn the other, turn one another way. So there's that. Get a couple. I only bought one because I only liked one kind. They have different sizes too. They have different shapes. I just really liked this one. A rectangular one would make more sense, but I don't go for what makes sense. I go for what calls to me. And then I bought this glass because I wanted a chalice or something to put on my altar for my ancestors specifically to offer for offerings for for my altar honestly and I really liked I don't know if you guys can see it. let's see if I can do it better there's this really gorgeous pattern I think you can see it so and it's a really heavy crystal like I don't know if you guys can see how thick that is, but it's thick. It's that thick. It's not, it's not cheap. So even if you're looking for drinking glasses, there's really good ones there. I mean, you pay a dollar a piece, but they're still really nice. Next up in spell work, I bought spices. I only bought two for now. Well, three, but... Um, you can definitely buy more than, you know, more than that. So basil is good for wealth and prosperity work and, and, um, often protection. I believe I'd have to look it up. I don't know. I know my basic, the herbs that I use a lot. I think it also works for protection. I, I have like catalogs of, of what I use and, <laughs> I don't have everything memorized. I, I make a list of, okay, you need this, you need this, you're running out of this. Cayenne pepper I use a lot. Cayenne pepper adds, adds speed. It can get rid of things. It can help, it, it works for curses, but it also adds quickness to things. So cayenne pepper is a good one as well. And then I got kosher salt, which is a really good one for protection. This whole thing is of kosher salt. I don't know. Yeah, it's sealed. So that's really good. I also got a little jar of honey for honey pots. So you can get your honey at the Dollar Tree. 
we'll talk, we're going to talk about gardens. Now, I like in the season, so seasonally, I like to start planting. I try to grow herbs when I can. Last year, it was really hard because here, the places where I live in Rhode Island, the main places that you buy your herbs and stuff from, a lot of them were closed. So this year, I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to buy the seeds, even though... I've never, I don't usually buy things from the seed and like grow things from the seed. I usually grow them from like, I get a small seedling and then I plant it and then it grows. I don't usually plant the seed and let it grow, but I figured why not try it this time? So I bought this little, they have these little seed starter pots and you get like a little stack of them. There's a bunch of them. And then this little seed starting greenhouse, which comes with like a little cover. You can see it comes with a cover. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I've been pretty successful when I try to grow. I have Capricorn as my rising. Um, I bought a bunch of gloves, gardening gloves. I always stock up because they're only for a dollar. I prefer these just so you guys, if you guys are wondering, these ones have like this weird, like, I don't know if they're latex though. For those of you that are allergic, I'm not allergic. But they have this like plastic all the way around, around the fingers, which I think are really nice because, oh, this one is latex. I don't know. Does this one say latex? This one does not say latex. Um, this one does not, it has plastic around the fingers, but the one that says latex, this is mesh. The hand part is mesh and dirt gets into it. This one has plastic, this one isn't mesh. I don't know what material this is made out of, but dirt doesn't get into this one as much. So I like to wear these ones a lot better, a lot more often if I'm working in the yard in the dirt. I bought a box of marigolds. I have an ant problem. I have a groundhog who likes to eat. I plant cherry tomatoes every year. And I plant, I, I grow lemongrass that I harvest and I dry. And the groundhog likes to eat my plants. And I have bunnies that I absolutely love, but they do try to eat my cherry tomatoes sometimes. So I, oh, that's what's great. The marigolds are getting everywhere. So I'm going to try to plant some marigolds. I've read if, if you plant marigolds, um, they tend to keep the bugs away. So we will see. I've never tried it before. I also bought some morning glories because I thought they were really pretty. And I bought thyme because I know that that's really good for workings. And then I bought another version of thyme. It's called an herb rocket. It's supposed to be easy. And then I bought a bunch of plant labels for myself. And then for the yard for my little birdies that I just love. I have a lot of cardinals that come to my yard. So I bought high energy suet and a spray hose for my, a spray nozzle thing for my hose. And then I bought some twine, which you can never have enough twine. You can use it for all sorts of things. You can use it for workings. You can use it for decoration. You can use it for your plants. You, you can use it for so many things. So you can never have too much twine. I've, I've even done a spell where I take a deck of tarot cards that I don't really care too much about, ones that I don't use that I'm not really connected to so much. And I take the ones that are, um, I consider prosperity and I punch holes in them and I take them out on my, to my favorite tree in the yard and I tie them to it and I do a spell there and I use it with twine. I also bought some, just some Gerber Daisy pink ones for Beltane that I'm going to put on my altar. And now the last part is more glamour related. So, and I'm gonna try to put timestamps in here to help you guys. I don't know if I, I'm not really good at that, but I'm trying to get better being a YouTuber now. Oh, and the static of my hair is back. Nyeh. Okay. All right, so now, don't knock Dollar Tree makeup. Let me tell you, they, here's the thing with Dollar Tree makeup that I have learned. It depends on where you live. 
because some places their their makeup aisle is disgusting. It depends on like how clean they keep it. And it also depends on what you like for makeup, right? So I really have liked the e-l-f e -L -F, and wet and wild forever i've always liked their brand and i continue to like their brand so i don't need i i do like expensive products too like i like silpata not silpata that's jewelry i like uh stella and i like sephora products i do don't get me wrong but <laughs> girls on a budget and elf makeup and wet and wild makeup gets the job done and it looks just as good there's nothing wrong with it don't knock it till you try it guys so um i actually just bought some wet and wild lip liner from walmart and then the exact type different colors showed up at this Dollar Tree and I loved the kind of lip liner and I was like oh my god I need to get every color <laughs> it's only a dollar I need to get every color because it was like three or four dollars at Walmart so and I just bought it to give it a shot so I, I bought two oh I bought the two colors they had at Walmart um at Dollar Tree so this is the kind it is called it's first gel lip liner it's perfect pout. I don't know. It's wet and wild. It's new. And the color for this one was Never Petal Down. So I'll back it up. So that's what it looks like. And then the next one was Think Flamingos. So that's what they look like. So I bought two. I bought a really pink one and then kind of a lighter pink one. And I actually am using the dark one today that I bought from Walmart. So, and then I bought lipsticks, Wet n' Wild lipsticks. That I had bought one from, this one was Pink Ice. And then this one is Hot Red. And the brand, the type, it's called just called Silk Finish. I bought these before from... Dollar Tree. They're great. They last a long time. They have vitamin E, aloe vera. They feel like you're putting on chapstick. And at Walmart, they sell them for like $4. So you're getting a really good deal if you can, if you can get them. Make sure they're sealed. Rule of thumb. If you're buying stuff from, from Dollar Tree, make sure they're sealed. And the thing I like about Wet n Wild is they don't test on animals. They don't test on, on animals. So it's very, it's cruelty free. So that's nice about Wet n Wild. I also bought um, an, uh, a new, I've never tried their eyeshadow. Um, they're also gluten free, vegan. So I've never tried an eyeshadow brush from any of their brushes. So I bought a, an eyeshadow brush because they had them. And then I bought, and I'm going to talk about Glamour in one second. I bought a blush that they had, and this one was Keep It Peachy. It was the only color they had. I've never tried any of their blushes. And I'm not a huge blush person. Um, my cheeks get red enough on their own, usually. But I've been getting really into makeup because I've been watching Bailey Sarian. I always want to say a different name because I have a student that I used to teach, and I used to say her name all the time, So I and it started with an S. So um, Bailey Sarian. And this one, again... You can see it's sealed. Don't ever buy unsealed makeup. Ever. Ever. Never, never. No matter where you're buying it from. And you can buy makeup from Poshmark too, if you guys don't know. Again, it has to be sealed. Sealed and unexpired. Okay? All right. Last steps. Oh, and here's another Wet n Wild. I haven't tried this one yet. I've never tried this one. So, this one, I don't know if you can see it. This one's lip gloss. 
and it's called Wet n Wild Glassy Gloss Lip Gel. And the color is Glass Confusion. And it is sealed. I don't know if you guys can see. It's fully sealed. Again, another one fully sealed. Okay, so we're back for those of you who are still with me. Oh my gosh, we're 30 minutes in, more than 30 minutes in now. Thank you so much for still being here. Okay, so we're almost done. We have four more things to, five more things to go. Now that the marigold's got all over stuff. And then we'll be all done. I told you I bought a lot of stuff. I bought a lot of stuff this week. Also have Maybelline. I, this was sealed, but I opened it up because I wanted to try it. I wore it in yesterday's live video that I did. This is Maybelline. It's called Color Jolt. And it goes on kind of like a paint. Like this is how it looks. I already tried it. But it kind of goes on kind of like a paint. And it stays. It's a lip stain. So it stays on and it doesn't, it's not like, um, it's not like a gloss. Once you put it on, it stays on. It's like a matte almost. And then I have some e.l.f. products. We have an e.l.f. lip liner and it's pretty cool because it actually has a sharpener in it. Again, sealed. And this color is Mauve Luxe. I've never tried any of their stuff, but I was like, hey, for adult. I actually know that's not true. I've tried their lipstick and I really, I tried one of their lipsticks and I really liked it. It was a different color than this though. And then we have a lipstick and it's called Sociable. I've tried this kind of lipstick, different color. And then this one is a Shape and Stay Eyebrow Wax Pencil. And you guys know how I have the eyebrows. I have no eyebrows almost until I draw them on. And then last but not least, I like to sometimes grab some hair pieces from them. So this one is, this one's like a, vel it feels almost velvety. Not velvet, yeah, I don't know. It's very soft and then and it's a headband. And I like how it doesn't have, how, how smooth it is. So it hopefully won't slide off my head. And that's it. Now I do wanna talk about glamor for makeup for one second. And I'll just grab like one lipstick. So, Often, I will use Glamour when I'm getting ready. I do all kinds of Glamour stuff when I get ready, or I can use this because it's open. So I will use Glamour on my lipstick. I will use Glamour on my eyes. Mostly I use it on my lipstick though. And the way that I use it if I'm doing readings, especially if I'm doing readings or if I'm having a conversation with somebody who may not hear what I have to say, so easily I will charm my lip my my lipstick to help that person hear it easily to enjoy what I have to hear what I have to say to to take what I have to say easily so you can do the same thing you can do it with lip gloss you can do it with lipstick you can do you can do it and so that's part of the magic at the Dollar Tree with makeup you can take your lipstick while you're putting it on. I just put it on three times and they, they are okay with what I have to say. They like what I have to say. And it's something as simple as that. When you put on eye stuff, which I don't have any eye things here, that you see the truth. So there's, there's a lot you can do with Glamour Magic. I, I don't have a ton to share with you about that, but there's, there's things, so much you can do with Glamour Magic when you're getting ready. You can do things to, that to help people get attracted to you, like on when you're putting on your blush, to pull people into you more, to become to come across more trustworthy. There's a lot you can do. I don't do a ton. I just make it so that people who are receiving my message are okay with it, mostly, especially when I'm doing readings, because it can be hard sometimes to hear news that you're not really wanting to hear. So that is it. I'm not sure how many items that was. When I edit this, I will put it right here. I'm gonna count everything up and I'll write it in over here, how many items that was because I did not have time to count and it's a lot of stuff. 
<laughs> I hope this was helpful for you guys. I really had to sit and come up with an idea of how to do this for you this time around because I mostly buy the same stuff every time. I am planning on doing a secondhand thrift store kind of shopping soon to try to see what I can get there. And that's about it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and share if you have any ideas, if you have any questions. I'd love to hear them. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye.